Okay, so we're going to take a look at some graphs. First, we're going to do a quick review. Okay, I'm going to give you a graph we've done a lot with before. Here is a position time graph. Uh, no, not yet. I have, you're going to have to do some sketching here in a minute. I'm going to have you tell me stuff. If you want to write it down, you can as like notes, but I'm not making you write this down yet. No, okay. So a position time graph, or could we also call this a displacement time graph? Yes. Yes, yes okay. And also, as another little reminder, if I say we have a position versus a time graph, the thing that comes after the versus goes on the x-axis. Okay, but for ours in here, now that we're into physics, what's <coughs> always been on the x-axis for everything we've done? Time, okay, that's going to keep happening, okay? All right, so position versus time graph, and let's say it looks like this. And I want to draw a velocity time graph from that, okay? How did we get velocity from a position time graph? Slope, my people remember that, all right? So I can get the slope of this line. So let's go from here to here, you calculate the slope, okay? Just as a reminder, rise over run or delta y over delta x. How do I know that? Look at the units. The change in y is in meters and the change in x is in seconds. So if I calculate the slope of this line, I get something over here. So let me make up some numbers, okay? Let's just call this for ease. We'll call this 3, 3. So what's the slope of that line? You start at 0, 0, you go up 3, you go over 3, what is it? 3 over 3. 3 over 3, which is 1, okay? Is that slope of that line changing at all? No. No? So what would that look like on the velocity time graph? Horizontal line. Horizontal line. Okay. So you'd have a line right here. Okay. And that line, let me move my units out of the way here. That line would be at 1. Okay. Now, let's say we're going to do one more graph. And this is the new thing. Okay. This you had in the activity. I don't think we've practiced these on the board yet. Okay. This we've had in the activity. Okay. Uh, Let's say we want to go, we've got position, we've got velocity. What do you think the last graph we can draw is? Acceleration. Acceleration. Okay. And we're not going to do too many of these, <coughs> but we're going to do just a couple. Okay. So on acceleration time graph, okay, what is this object doing? Think back to the opener, in particular number one. <coughs> it's staying at a constant. Is this person walking or whatever it is, moving steadily at one meter per second the yes. whole time? Yes, okay. What's the acceleration of that object? Zero. Zero. Now, so we know what it's going to look like on here already, right? It's just yeah. going to be at zero. Okay, it's just going to be zero meters per second squared. Okay. How do you think you go from this graph to this graph? Slope. Slope. This is a horizontal line, right? What's the rise? Let's go from here to here. How much did you rise? Zero. Zero, zero right? The change in y is zero. Zero divided by Zero divided by anything will give you zero. zero. Okay. So to go from here to here, you calculate the slope. Questions? Yes. Would it always be zero because isn't, isn't if this is a horizontal line? Yes. But we're going to give an example here in a minute where it won't be. Oh, okay. All right. We're going to give an example where the velocity is changing, and that's the one that I'm going to have you try to see if you can do. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, so, if you think you're going to forget this, how to go from one to the other to the other, do you think you should make a little note, like velocity versus time, or excuse me, position versus time, to go to this, calculate slope, to go to this, calculate slope? Yes. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do an example now of one that has to do with these two. We're going to leave this one behind for now. Okay. We're going to leave position time behind for now. All right. So, I'm going to give you a velocity time graph, and I'd like you to try to come up with what the acceleration time graph will look like. Okay, So here's going to be the situation. I'm going to make up numbers here in a minute. Okay, This will be 0, 0. That's the origin. And we're going to call this up 3. We're going to call this over 1. Okay, And then here we have a horizontal line. So if you want to make up points, you can. We'll call this out of 2 out here. So 3, 2. Excuse me. Over one, up three, and this is zero zero. What will, and this is, I do want you to write this down. I'm gonna walk around the room. What will the acceleration time graph look like for this situation? So this describes the velocity. Notice the velocity, not the position. This describes the velocity. What will this look like? Give it a shot. If you're completely stumped, ask somebody around you. And I'll even put a reminder up here. 
You should have two, do this part from here to here first, then draw this part. Give it a shot. Well, how do you go from here to here? Just as a reminder, you calculate the <coughs> slope. What's it going to look like? No, no. This I've given you, that's a velocity time graph. We're getting rid of this first one. So does that velocity time graph look like that velocity time graph? No, I'm, I'm, no. I'm The second part general, does. I'm just saying in general, like, is one day look the same since I'm same slope? No, this is the position time graph, right? Mm -hmm. I haven't given you this. I've given you this, <coughs> right, and asked for this, uh, right? And it, is that velocity time graph horizontal the whole time? No. no. So this is going to look different, at least for that first part of the trip. For that first one second. All right, we are struggling mightily. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to do a couple more of these then. Let's do this first one together. Okay? I've seen like one right one and like 10 ones that either are blank or you don't, it's not right. Okay? So from here to here, can you calculate the slope of that line? Yes. Yes, okay. Also, over here, I'm going to put something to help keep track of where I'm at. I'm going to put a one second. And I'm going to put a two second. Here's what you do. You do these in parts, okay? From here to here, there's one slope. And then from here to here, is the slope different? Yes. Yes. So we're going to have to calculate two slopes, okay? That's so we right. start here and we go up how much? Three. Three, and we go over? One. one. What's the slope for the first second? Three. Three, okay? So at three meters per second squared, at three meters per second squared, is this slope changing at all? <laughs> No. Slope from here to here staying the same, correct? From zero to one second, it's staying the same. Okay. All right. So that means from zero to one second, I'll have a horizontal line. Okay. That means, and that should be a second squared. I apologize. This is acceleration. That means the object is accelerating at three meters per second squared. Okay. Meaning every second, it's going three meters per second faster, right? This means we have a change in velocity. Does that make sense? From here to here, is the velocity changing? From here to here, is the velocity changing? Yes. Look at it. It starts at what? Zero. Zero, and it ends up at? One. Three. <laughs> we're talking, I thought we were talking about seconds. No, the velocity ends up at three, My right? Yeah. Okay. So it goes from zero, and after one second, it's going how, how fast? Three meters per second. That makes sense, right? An acceleration of three meters per second squared means that every second, you'll go three meters per second faster. So if you started at zero, you should end up at three. Okay, you're going faster and faster and faster. Okay, now what happens here? What happens to the slope of this line for the next second? It goes to zero. zero okay, meaning it's steadily going along at three meters per second. Will there be any acceleration? No. No. So I will just bring a line down here and we'll stay at an acceleration of zero. Actually, I'm not sure anybody had that, that I saw. All right, let's try another one, okay? Let's try it. Let's make this one actually simpler. <coughs> let's just do that. There you go. And then label your acceleration. So go ahead and do a new, you can draw another one of these. So this is different. What's the acceleration of that object? If you can do this one, you're okay for the test. This is as tough as they'll get on the test. That first one I gave was tougher, really, than what you'd probably see on the test. At least from a, you have to make your own graph. Interpreting it, maybe not, but making your own one, probably. <coughs> YouTube has a 10 minute limit, so I, <coughs> I did put the solution up there. Don't look until you're done. <laughs> 